Okay, so next we are going to learn how to retouch the mouth, mouth and teeth. So I'm going to zoom in so we can look at just her mouth nice and close. And for the most part, she doesn't have a whole lot of discoloration or anything going on right now. Um, there's a little bit of yellowness. Her lips are a little bit cracked. So we can also maybe add some color to the lips, remove some of the yellowness on the teeth, and that's essentially all she needs us to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this layer. So Command J. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to select my sponge tool and I'm going to set that to desaturate. So I'm going to go in and with that set on desaturate, I'm going to paint over her teeth. Now, I've got this set at 35%. I'm going to bump that to about 70%. And this one tooth looked a little bit yellow. I'm going to color over that. Over here on the side, there's one that has a little bit of yellow, this area here. I'm essentially just pulling the color out of her teeth. And by doing that, it is going to allow the discolorations of yellow to be removed. So that's a super simple way of doing it, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get my dodge tool it is set at 17%, so it's not overly white, okay? So I'll put that actually on 15%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go over her all her teeth one time. I'm just coloring them in with the white dodge tool, okay? Brightening them up, essentially. Now I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. so that I can be sure that I get nice and close on these edges, on these highlights. I want everything to be nice and white. And at 17% that gives you a large room for error. Okay, so if you see you went too far, you can go back and fix it later, no problem. All right, let me turn the layer off and on. See, it didn't seem like we were making that big of a difference, but when you look at the difference of before and after, you can see a huge difference. All right. Next, let's address her lips, okay? They look very cracked. So, one of the things you can do is you can go in and you can use the blur or the smudge tool. Let's use the blur tool on her lips just a little bit. Strength is set at 50%. Mode is just on normal. Okay. I've got a nice soft brush. I'm going to increase the size of my brush just a little bit. And I'm just going to go in and I'm softening these cracks on her lips. That's all I'm doing. So using the blur tool, I'm going over her lips, going over these cracks, and softening the cracks. Okay? Kind of smudges them together just a little bit. Come down here, do the same thing. Especially right here where there's a lot. Okay? I'm just removing some of that definition there. We don't need to see every single pore. So this is fine. Don't feel like you're doing something horrible to your image. Now, if this was a high fashion shoot, the lips were the focus, we wouldn't have this problem. They would have moisturizer on and everything else. So you wouldn't be having to do anything this extensive to one of those images, okay? However, look at how well that has softened her lips to where they don't look just almost painfully dry. Okay, let's do before. 
and after. Before and after. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our saturation sponge tool. I'm going to put it back on saturate. And I'm going to go over her lips. With saturation, it is set at 70%. That's actually pretty high. I'm going to go and I'm going to reverse what I just did with the sponge tool. Okay. And I am going to bring that down to about 19, 20%. Now I'm going to increase the size of my brush and just lightly go over her lips, bring the saturation up. Okay. We're just bringing her natural color out. We're not trying to make it appear as if she has lipstick on. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to my Dodge tool one more time. And I'm going to bring out these natural highlights that she's got right here. It's a big one on her bottom lip. Doing it a little bit of a, a sheen, right? Close that off. Turn that off and on. Let's zoom out just a little bit. And you can see our natural progression. Okay, here we are. The only thing we had done was brightened her eye whites. Here we are, we've adjusted her eyes a little bit more in the irises and whitened the eyes just a little bit more. Here we are, we added some eyelashes, adjusted her eyebrows, and now we've retouched her mouth. Okay, so the next thing we're going to cover will be her hair and her skin.